Let's go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So if you were thinking this was for the entire conference, it is not. It's just for this track. Was there anybody in this room thought, thinking it was for the entire conference? OK, good. Excellent. Good. Perfect. I am Jen Krieger, Chief Agile Architect at Red Hat in the Products and Technologies Division. And I'm Ari Levigny, uh, Senior Principal Software Engineer at Red Hat, uh, mostly focused on continuous productization. Uh, we are going to talk to you about the Agile DevOps and CICD track that Ari and I crafted for you, painstakingly spent so many hours developing for you, um, or on Sketch as the Agile DevOps SRE track. There was a little bit of a miscommunication, so we apologize that it does not say CICD, but the main intent was that it was supposed to be CI and CD instead of SRE. Um, welcome to the coolest team, or AKA the coolest track here at DevConf. You're in the right place. You are in the right place. Uh, if, you, if you think that any of the other tracks are cooler, see me after class. <laughs> so the tips and tricks for DevConf, Ari and I, you've been here pretty much yeah. every time, right? Yeah. Pretty last much every time. Years, yeah. Last like four years. years. Yeah. I wasn't here last year because I had surgery, but I've been here uh, often. And there's some tips and tricks we want to share with you if this is your first time or if you have forgotten. Um, the first one being, I want you all to turn your badge over and look at it. I can't do that. There is a ton of information on the back of it. It's really helpful, the schedule with QR codes. There's a map, so if you're wondering where things are, it's, it's on the back there. And they'll also tell you where the bathrooms are, which is very important because they're not quite obvious where they might be. Um, in addition, the Wi-Fi password, it printed funny. And it looks like there's a space between the nine. No space. There's uh, between the O and the nine. There's no space. So if you can't connect, that's why. <clears throat> uh, please rate all of the sessions you go to. That's not just for this track. Um, our speakers, a lot of our speakers are speaking for the first time. A lot of our speakers are seasoned, experienced speakers that sometimes make a misstep. Uh, without your feedback, they don't know what to improve on. So we really appreciate it if you would spend some time go into sketch at the end of all of your presentations and just provide some feedback for that speaker. Uh, get to the food trucks early or you're going to wait online. Um, uh, hopefully they'll have more food trucks this year, but typically the lines are pretty long. Uh, and it can be, if you're really hungry or you're trying to go fast in between, it, it, can, be quite, it can be quite exhausting to stand on that line. So just get there early um, it, or just go somewhere else. <laughs> and then finally, okay. watch DevConf uh, 2019 on Twitter. I always see something else going on. Somebody saying, hey, I'd like to talk about blah, meet me here. Uh, so if you're watching that, you'll see some of the undercurrent in the conference of what is going on that is kind of hallway trackish, if you would. All right, the goal. So we want to really, the idea of this track is right, to showcase the latest stuff that's going on in Agile, DevOps, and CICD. Um, you know, if you want to click the next one. We want you to go from this left side where everything's on fire to everything's easy and using these methodologies, Agile, and obviously the overall umbrella of DevOps and how we can you know, make your release process, CI, and CD, that the, the delivery and deployment much easier than, than what it may be today. OK, so the track overview. So on day one, oh, that was you. <laughs> day, Sorry. So it's more intro beginner, definitely a technical focus, um, more of the, a little bit of sysadmin and also developers in mind with the first track, kind of an intro and, and, and tech focused. I'll let you take this. Day two, again, intro and beginner. This is a non-technical focus, although we do have some technical talks sprinkled in in the middle of the day. Uh, this is really going to be targeted towards Agile team members, uh, managers, program, and project management. But I suspect if you're an engineer, you will find some really awesome content in the day. There's a few talks in the day actually being done by engineers on Agile topics. So they're, they're from, from an engineering perspective or a quality engineering perspective. So it's a little bit less of a high-level point of view and more of a down-on-the-ground point of view. All right, now day three, we get into some really uh, intermediate and advanced technical topics. Um, more focused in developer and some operational sysadmin stuff, but more focused towards a developer. And, and I think that will round out our track pretty well. So this is the overview uh, from a full perspective so you can see it all together. So January, the, today, you are here right now talking with us. 
Um, I'm going to be doing a track keynote, a little bit overview, and kind of a dive into some of the work that our team in Red Hat has done. Uh, and then Kruno is actually going to go into more detail. He's sitting right there. Uh, he's uh, going to go more detail on the platform that we've created on top of OpenShift or our, our, our setup there. And then we're going to roll into operators with Ansible and getting started with DevOps uh, for, the, for the morning. Um, then in the afternoon, uh, more focus with Ansible and, and Tower, Ansible Engine and Tower, uh, automating on call duties with Ansible Tower. So a lot of Ansible stuff, as you can see on the second half of the day. So if that's your interest, please attend. Um, Ansible Everything with Adam Miller, I, I recommend going to that one. Introduction to operators for app developers. I think that would be so, some new topics and some new information that would be, uh, be pretty informative for folks. On day two, we're going over to room E112, so we're not in the same room. Uh, most of the sessions are, I think actually all the sessions are in this room today. Um, I'm going to start the track keynote tomorrow talking about the dangers of what happens when you focus on, primarily on output over what you're trying to achieve. Uh, we'll go into, uh, uh, Jan Zelaney is one of our engineering managers at Red Hat. He's going to talk about what it's been like for him to be a product owner on a team that he's been on for a few years now. Uh, so he'll talk about those challenges and what it's like for new Agile teams. There's a panel at 11 that I think I would highly recommend for a lot of folks who are in a stage in their career that they're not entirely sure where to go next or they're not sure what steps to take to get to where they want to go. Uh, Jen Albertson and Jessica Forrester are going to have a panel of people on stage and they're going to be asking questions and answering probably uh, questions from the audience on what to do next. Uh, we'll go into some tech talks with uh, continuous delivery meeting OpenShift and also Knative makes developers incredible and serverless and I I think the speaker for that is right over there. So we have uh, him in the room. After lunch, well, this actually, that was already after lunch, uh, we're going to go into Ralph Bean, Mike Benet, and Neil Smith are going to be talking about what they did to create a mindset of continuous improvement on the teams that they were working with. That talk you don't want to miss, because they're doing it with little to no slides, and I hear it's going to be pretty funny. Uh, moving on into further in the afternoon, uh, Dominica, Beulah, uh, Petter, the two Petters are going to be talking about doing Scrum on multiple teams and what that looks like for them at Red Hat. Uh, issues are dead, long live issues, goals and actions with Fernando and Adam. Uh, how to transform dev and test teams, uh, the silos into one team. I, I know I get that question all the time, how do you do that when you have a, a quality engineering department over here and a software engineering department over here, so Stuart's going to talk a little bit about that. Ludic uh, is going to actually talk about how we take the thousands of projects that we uh, contribute to on a daily basis and smush them all together to produce RHEL. So if you are interested in that, you're interested in how we take all the bits to make them into the operating system that we deploy today, he will go through that. Moving further, we're going to talk about processes and tools over individuals and interactions, and then finally wrap the day with building distributed systems on distributed teams. So if you are one of those people who works with a remote team, that will also be highly interesting to you. By the way, somebody stole one of our talks from one of our, one of our tracks, and we're just going to point out here that this was originally, this, this session right here, was originally supposed to be on day three for us. It was one of the talks on Istio, so if you are interested in Istio, it is right there. I, we highly recommend that you go to that one too. All right, and then day three, we get a hands-on lab to kick it off in the morning. Um, and then going into more information monitoring uh, with pipelines uh, with Prometheus, um, a lot of technical talks, a good talk on CICD and OpenShift for developers. I recommend going to that. Um, and and we'll round it out with an Istio talk, which is different than the other Istio talk, but at least we have one in our track. Um, and and that's, that'll round out Sunday um, for our track. So we also noticed, you know, there's other sessions that we thought were pretty interesting, and so I marked off, and Jen did as well, and she'll go through hers. Mine was uh, developing apps for regular people in OpenShift. I recommend going to that. That's from the uh, evan OpenShift Evangelist team. I think it's going to be really good. Um, CI for OpenShift, Prowse, operator by Petter Mueller. I highly recommend going to that. Some of the work that they've done to 
get CI into OpenShift and using Prow as a, as a, uh, as a mechanism for it. Um, Fedora CI with Brian Stinson, I highly recommend going to that, um, testing the operating system. And um, containers with daemons, uh, without daemons, sorry, uh, by Matthew Heen. I think that'll be a real interesting one as well. Kind of just shows you some of the, the changes in the container world. Um, and then there's Ol Oliver Gons does uh, Jenkins area meetup. So if you have time, I recommend going to that if you're interested in Jenkins and some of the new things going on there today. By the way, if you can't be in two places at once like we can't, <laughs> uh, most of the sessions are being recorded unless there's technical dif difficulties in the room. But you can tell if you see that equipment on the front desk, you'll know that they're actually being recorded. So if you, can't, if you see overlapping and you have a conflict, go to the one that you, you want to go to, but know that we'll also record the other one most likely. Uh, so my recommended sessions are, uh, there's one today at 10.30, Using Maslow's Psychology to Build Your Best Team by Micah Abbott. Um, I, that, that might be a little bit of nepotism there because I work with Micah on a team for many, many years, and I am very strongly supportive of him moving into speaking. He's really awesome, so I would, I would love for folks to go out and support him. Um, Rebecca Fernandez is talking about debating and committing to making uh, decisions stick in your community. So this is a little bit of a framework that you can use to actually help decision making. And I know we all kind of struggle with that, especially with excessive feedback. You're never sure when you can actually make that decision. So she's got some ideas on how you do that. Um, Merrick is gonna be talking about the QE role in a cross-functional team and what that looks like. Moving into Paul, talking about agile documentation, making that a first-class citizen. So we often experience problems on our teams where we can design, develop, and actually get the code committed. But then what happens to the actual documentation of the code so folks can actually understand what it does. So Paul has some ideas there. And then finally wrapping up with Ben Cotton, who is the program manager for the Fedora community. He's going to be talking about herding cats. Um, and I think he'll probably talk a little bit about Fedora, but I suspect he'll probably talk about more than Fedora. And so good morning. Have a fun day today. Have a fun, have a fun weekend. Um, and if you see Ari and I in the hallway and we don't appear to be doing anything, or even if we are doing something, feel free to drop by and talk to us. Absolutely. We'd love to chat with everyone. Uh, did you put a green sticker on your badge? I have to get a green sticker. Okay, I have a green sticker on my badge. So talk to us. Um, feel free to uh, come up and ask questions too. And then finally, if you're not a dog person, I added a cat slide, so it's okay, dog. You all have fun, <laughs> I promise. All right, thanks everybody. Thank you. Enjoy the conference.